The beauty scientists, Dr. Christy Hamilton and Dr. Roy Kim. Real beauty without the hype. So what are your thoughts on Botox and fillers, assuming that money's no object and you could actually get in on a very consistent basis? So I would be, and I do, I Botox myself every three months. This is the longest I've not been Botox because I'm pregnant. <laughs> I started when I was 27. And so actually what, what's been so great is like now, as you can see, for example, I've got full movement, but since I've been doing it consistently since I was 27, even though it's been nine months since I've had anything, I can make all these expressions and I can even make some lines, but when I stop moving my face, they haven't come back yet. So that really speaks to the power, the preventative element of Botox and neuromodulator treatment too. So, but I'm ready to get my brow lift back and, you know, slim my masseter. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be great. So I, I'm all in on judicious and regular use of Botox and then filler. I think you just, filler is a great product. I love the hyaluronic ones for the face because I think it's always important to know you can dissolve them if need be, just as time goes on. Um, and I, I think you have a similar philosophy as me, Dr. Kim, with this, but I think little sprinkles, optimizations of the face, micro adjustments, that is what keeps filler looking so beautiful, really enhancing your own structure. So I'm more liberal with the neuromodulator like Botox and much more conservative with the filler and really like to do that. I think on average, I'm refreshing areas every two years or so, but what I'll do is I'll kind of just tweak little things here and there on my face as time goes on. And yeah. I think that's I, what keeps things looking natural. I love if I can give literally one syringe of filler, maybe once a year, or maybe two syringes once a year and place it everywhere. So you might need some in your lips, your cheek, your nasal labial fold, the jowl line, your angle of the mandible, but not go crazy, but you're always maintaining it. Yeah. yeah. Once, you, once you've created, like, so, you know, sometimes we'll do like a little bit, especially if someone comes in, they've never done it. We might have a plan for a couple of syringes over that first year, or even do it all in one session. But then after that, the goal is to just like, conservatively replenish, not kind of inject full syringes every three months. Like I Botox. totally agree. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on The Beauty Scientist. Be sure to visit thebeautyscientist.com and learn more about modern beauty and connect with Dr. Hamilton and Dr. Kim.